throw now hold on now hang on now, please understand i'm not doing this for shock value but you must understand luther's language was coarse and disgusting they politely translated this as dung here <laughs> the correct word starts with an s and ends with a t okay that's what luther wrote throw poop in her face to make her ugly because reason is the devil's favorite whore throw poop in her face to make her ugly so that you don't want to kiss the whore now do you so luther called reason a whore a whole lot speaking of aristotle and saint thomas he allegedly said aristotle is the godless bulwark of the papists he is to theology what darkness is to light his ethics is the worst enemy of grace right as one wild beast falls in with another, so it was under the papacy, Aristotle, Scotus, etc. They fell in with each other. So Aristotle is a wild beast. Later on, Aristotle becomes Satan because according to the guy who commented last time, I'm wrong about uh, Luther loved Aristotle. What, what are you talking about? That Luther loved, and we know how much Arist he loved Satan because he said, look, Satan has taken over these, these, these disabled kids. We should kill them. So if, if Aristotle is Satan, Luther loves it too. Pretty sure. So yeah, yeah. Away with free will, exclaims Luther, because Luther's for free will, clearly a proponent of free will. If philosophical reason ever attempts to understand what God is like or offer guidance in the human quest for salvation, it will lead us to error. So that reason craps, that's got to go too. Just like the Ten Commandments, that crap's got to go too as evidenced by Erasmus's foolish insistence on the freedom of the will, inspired by humanism and Aristotle. That's Luther's works. Again, Weimar Ausgabe, volume 10, page 532. Yes, yes, yes. You see, Luther was clearly for will and freedom. Do you, are we setting a pattern here based on his nominalism? Can you see something forming here? Yeah, yeah definitely making a lot of connections for sure. Yeah, we are to stay only with God's word so that Christ alone is in both respects the man who was everywhere before us. The books of Aristotle and those of the Pope and of any other man should be avoided, even burned if we can get to that, because he was a great fan of Aristotle. Fantastic fan. So I don't know if the guy who commented before was either lying or wrong, but definitely one of the two. Some original German, okay? Vernunft is the Horste, sorry, Vernunft is the Horste Hur, die der Teufel hat. So reason, understanding, is the highest whore that Satan has. So the highest whore that Satan can seduce you with is reason, is understanding, your mind. Because God is Logos, and that, that, that crap's got to go too. So do we, are we establishing a pattern? Because I'll finish. This will be the last section I'll do because it's quite detailed and lengthy. But uh, so far, your thoughts? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> According to that guy, it definitely sounds like he's a huge fan of, you know, free will and, and Aristotle. I mean, massive fan based on these. Yep, yep. So Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy, Luther, Aristotle, Nominalism. To the extent that Luther is critical of philosophy and reason, his hostility is directed at Aristotle and Aristotelian tradition. In his most notorious negative judgments in Disputation, he says the whole of Aristotle is through theology. So that that's, that's a well-known thing, right? So let's have a look at the Malay male, oh, this is 2015, avoid intellect, avoid logic when it comes to Islam, Perak Mufti tells the cabinet. Tansri Hurasani Zakaria reminded federal ministers yesterday against issuing statements based on logic and intellect when it comes to Islam, claiming that the intellect is influenced by desires and subsequently susceptible to the devil. And I'm going to ask you, bet you, bet you, bet you two cents US that Luther says exactly the same thing as we're going to discover. What do you want to bet me? Do you feel I lucky? I don't want to. I don't know if I want to take that bet. I mean, Luther was clearly all about logic and rationality. Why would you? Why? Why, why would you think that he's going to be exactly word for word in line with a Muslim? I mean, because he's so reasonable and and rational. I, I just don't. I just don't see. Oh, it. Damn it! You got me. But I would have won the bet anyway. So, Islam is based on faith. Don't make any remarks based on the intellect or logic. The intellect is governed by desires and it is influenced by Satan. Don't be ruled by desires. 
So yeah, hey, I, we don't we don't want to go there because so Luther versus logic. So reason is a whole. Yes, he did personify reason as a whole. We're going to discuss. Let us discuss. I need to bring this up. So let me get to my notes here, Luther. For, let's bring all that up. Okay. So now let's continue. Reason is the devil's greatest whore. I'd say that's a very, I mean, that's clearly a very neutral academic statement with nuance to it. What he's saying is that that one has to use reason with, with caution and combine it hand in hand with a reasonable frame of mind with logic and evidence, correct? Am I, I'm reading that correct? Well, I think so. I think so. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to, you know, throw... Now, hold on. Now, hang on. Now, please understand, I'm not doing this for shock value, but you must understand Luther's language was coarse and disgusting. They politely translated this as dung here. <laughs> the correct word starts with an S and ends with a T, okay? That's what Luther wrote. Throw poop in her face to make her ugly because reason is the devil's favorite whore. Throw poop in her face to make her ugly so that you don't want to kiss the whore now, do you? So in 10 pages, this is the last sermon in Wittenberg. This is like one of his final sermons before he died. In 10 pages, he calls reason a whore at least 13 times. I haven't fully counted. I always find a new one whenever I read it again. He calls reason the devil nine times, whoredom six, nine, six times, and idolatry at least three times. So I'd say on the basis of the evidence, he's clearly saying that reason is very important and Christians should abide by reason, use reason because it's critically important and God is Logos and it's important that we are. Am I reading that correctly, Phil? I think so. If my eyes don't deceive me, I think you are reading that. Sorry, correctly. I can't hear you. You've ah, oh, my, my, my speaker somehow switched off. Yes, sorry. I said, if my eyes don't deceive me, it seems you are reading it correctly. Yeah, yeah, no, he's clearly a fan of reason here. He's clearly a fan wow. of reason. So, and he says here, this is in the Gothic that they don't translate so well. Das die Vernunft des Teufels Hure ist. Your understanding is the devil's whore. Okay, it is the devil's bride. Teufels Braut, the devil's bride. So reason is the wife of the devil, right? Uh, you know, if I was talking, if I was doing a talk on vegetables, someone would say, what's your thoughts on fruits? You know, bananas, talk about bananas. Uh, so this is, I, I'm talking about this topic. I mean, A, I don't really know because I haven't studied. I'm not going to talk about a topic I haven't studied and taken copious notes on. So, okay. So now let's have a look at this. Okay. So let's have a look here. Oh, by the way, canum, the word he uses in Latin. Now this, this portion of, portions of his stuff is written in Latin. He uses canum. It means filth, Right. Now, it can refer to mud or muck, but it also refers to feces. It is considered a form of filth or waste because Luther, Luther had a, an obsession with feces. So let's bring this up. Okay, let's bring up Martin Luther. Let's have a quick look. This is from Luther's works, taken from Luther's works. This is 1959. This is from the Arizona Uni University of Arizona. Okay, University of Arizona Library. This is the, I mean, it's in, it's in Luther's works, but I'm just using this one from the university. Um the last sermon in Wittenberg. Okay. Uh, let me continue here. Okay. So he says here, but the devil's bride reason, the lovely whore comes in and wants to be wise. And what she says she thinks is the Holy spirit. So you can't use reason and evidence because no, it's feelings, right? She is the foremost whore that the devil has. The other gross sins can be seen, but the gross sin that is reason, you can't see that, you see, but nobody can control reason. It walks about and it cooks up fanaticism with baptism and the Lord's Supper. You see, reason actually makes us follow baptism and the Lord's Supper, fanaticism like that. Would you believe it, Val? This whole, yeah, go on. Yeah. Um... Uh, I mean, just complete arbitrary reliance on, on the spontaneity of the so-called spirit. Yep. And he cl and she claims that everything that pops into its heads and the devil puts into its heart is the Holy Spirit. Now, look, if Luther's getting a case of feelings, oh, I feel the spirit talking to me. I can, I'm convicted by the spirit. Brother Bob, can you feel the Holy Spirit? The indwelling of the spirit coming down from heaven and lighting up. I can feel the fire of the, can, you know? How do we test that without having 
reason and evidence as a as a criteria. Yeah, I mean, fideism at its best here. Yeah, exactly. So let's continue. And what I say of the sin of lust applies also to reason. You see, reason is like lust. It's a sin. Reason mocks and affronts God. And in spiritual things, has more hideous harlotry than any prostitute. It is an idolater running after idols. Reason is like a whore chaser running after a whore. That's why the scriptures call idolatry whoredom, while reason calls idolatry wisdom and holiness. How the prophets have railed against this lovely whoredom, idolatry. Because reason is idolatry, reason is whoredom, reason is satanic, and yes, yeah, stay away from that idolatry. I mean, I, so clearly he's really promoting reason. He's actually advocating on the side of reason and logic, right? Clearly. Am I, am I correct? Yeah, he's definitely a fan of Aristotle. I could see it now. I could see what, what that guy was commenting about. Yeah, yeah, no. So the guy that was telling me that I was wrong about Luther is clearly correct. I, somehow I misinterpreted Luther completely. And he says, such wisdom of reason, the prophets call whoredom. You see? So, and it says, reason says the opposite. Okay, reason basically says, re reason misguides us, right? Misleads us. So, reason is by nature a harmful whore. But she shall not harm me if I resist her. So, yeah, resist reason, that harmful whore. Just resist reason, that logic stuff. Yeah, stay away from it. I mean, don't just stay away from Islam, but stay away from logic. Because, God, that'll kill you. I can defend myself against reason. Thank God. Well done, Luther. Don't you hear, you mangy, leprous whore, you holy reason? See to it that you hold reason in check and do not follow her beautiful cogitations. Throw poop in her face and make her ugly. Now they go dirt. They mean S-H. You know the word. Mm. Reason is and should be drowned in baptism. I trample reason and its wisdom underfoot. And I say, you cursed whore, shut up. Are you trying to subdue, seduce me into committing fornic fornication with the devil? That's the way that reason is purged. Ah, uh, yes, Sam. Yes, Sam. Of course. Of course. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. Much appreciated. Weak so, hadith. Weak hadith. It's a weak hadith. Yeah, you're right. It's a weak hadith. It's all Catholic lies. It's all Catholic lies. Lloyd, you Catholic liar. I'm not even Catholic. I don't know, man. But okay, fine. I guess if the shoe fits, I have to wear it. It keeps getting thrown at me. So, yeah, these are... I mean, like the guys who wrote about Luther eating pig shit... Those are hostile sources that, that hate Luther. Yeah, yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. Yeah. Go on. Uh, I was going to say before you continue, I mean, it's also this weird kind of appeal when he's talking about reason to these unjustified axioms of where he's saying, you know, oh, by nature, reason is a whore. Like it's just these arbitrary unjustified axioms that he's stating. I mean, I don't know. Maybe he justifies it in the, the works in context, but it just seems to me these kind of arbitrary appeals to these unjustified axioms. Yeah, it's look, it's opinion, right? Opinion is truth. If you're a nominalist, there's no there's no difference yeah. between doctrine and opinion. There's no difference between truth and opinion. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yep. So your wisdom is utter foolishness. I destroy your wisdom and trample it underfoot. We are to quench reason. When whoredom invades you, strike it dead. But do this far more when spiritual whoredom tempts you. Right? The devil will kindle the light of reason and rob you of your faith. Yes, reason will, will rob you of your faith. So you must keep your own ideas in check, except when you must do that. This hellish, whorish lust of thinking. You're probably guilty of that, Val. You look like someone who thinks. With, with your vocabulary, you've been doing some thinking, man. That is hellish, whorish lust. It is a sin. You've been using reason, you, you, you whorish. Hang a clog on the neck of that lust, buddy. And trample it underfoot and tell it, you whore, you shut up. I, I, from the world's greatest theologian, from me to you, man. I mean, I'm an, I guess I'm an adult, adulterous, uh, you know, sinner. I'm an, I'm an adulterous reasoning whore. Yeah, yeah, no. So go trot to the privy with your conceit, your reason. Shut up, you cursed whore. So please go trot to the privy with your conceit and your reason. Go to the toilet and... 
Yeah, 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 no. Uh, so be on your guard, not only against gross lusts, but also against the high lusts, which break the unity of faith and bring about whoredom, which is idolatry, which is this thing called reason. Yeah, don't go there, okay? Don't think, don't go there. Just, just listen to me, Martin Luther. So yeah, clearly, clearly Luther is definitely a strong, strong proponent of reason, logic, careful, evidence-based thought. It's obvious. I don't know how I missed it the first time. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely see it now. I, I see how he, you know, definitely doesn't appeal to any sort of, you know, nominalist ideology. He definitely doesn't put, you know, fideism at, at its preeminence to where revelation and feeling is above reason and logic. Um, yeah, for sure, for sure. If you like the content, like, share, comment, subscribe for more and follow my social medias in the description below. I'll see you guys next time and may the grace of our Lord Jesus be with you.